It wasn't too long ago that we saw the messiah of college baseball pitching prospects rise up in Steven Strasburg. When the Nationals took him first overall, the move was expected to transform their franchise, and in all honesty, it really did. All these years later, the Nationals still have Strasburg on their roster, and they also have a ring under their belt that they probably couldn't have got without their World Series MVP. I never imagined another college pitcher would get the hype that Strasburg got, but here in the year 2021, it's not only happening again, but it's happening to a pair of teammates. But we'll be focusing on just one of them today. You may be a fan of baseball and have never heard the name Jack Leiter before. But one thing that may stick out is his last name, Leiter. The same as legendary starting pitcher from the 1990s, Al Leiter. You know, the same Al Leiter that pitched for 19 years, made two all-star teams, and won two World Series championships? Yeah, that guy. Today's video is not about him. It's about his son. Jack Leiter's start to his sophomore year has the entire baseball world buzzing about his potential. He's had chats with Barstool Sports, been discussed on MLB Network, was interviewed on ESPN, and recently completed a 30 minute interview with Pitching Ninja. This interview is sort of the blueprint for my video, so if you want the full in-depth story with all the details, make sure you go check out that video. So with all this buildup, we really have to ask, what's the deal? Is Jack Leiter the real thing? Well, today we're going to talk about it. Here is everything you need to know about potential number one pick. Right-handed pitcher for the Vanderbilt Commodores, Jack Leiter. Being the son of a major leaguer means that you probably have to play baseball a lot as a kid. But this was never an issue for Jack Leiter. He never played baseball because his dad wanted him to. He played baseball because he loved the game. Jack Leiter played middle infield as a kid, batting mostly ninth. He started pitching when he was a kid as well, mostly fastballs and curveballs, and during his high school days, he made the transition to be a full-time pitcher and started expanding his arsenal. As a senior at Del Barton in 2019, he was named the Gatorade Player of the Year for the state of New Jersey. He was 6-0 with a 0.54 ERA alongside batting 364. Even as a high schooler, Leiter was still considered one of the top prospects in the 2019 MLB draft, but he had a strong commitment to Vanderbilt University. He wasn't selected until the 20th round by the New York Yankees, but he didn't sign and instead enrolled at Vanderbilt to play college baseball. In his debut, he pitched five no-hit innings while striking out 12. He was named Freshman of the Week after the performance, but his season would be derailed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Leiter has already pitched more games in 2021 than he did his freshman year, and this is likely why everyone's hearing about him just now. Still, his freshman year numbers were very good over three games started, and they probably would have stayed good over a longer period of time. But I'm sure his sophomore year stats have caught your eye now especially the fact that his ERA is lower than his whip. 0.31 and 0.62 respectively. A 15.2K per nine, and this is all in just five starts. Perhaps we have yet to see the best of Jack Leiter, but his last two outings may be hard to top. It started with a complete game shutout against the University of South Carolina, where Leiter struck out 16 batters and retired 27 in a row after walking the first batter. Oh, I forgot to mention, his complete game shutout was also a no-hitter. Leiter's no-hitter was the first for Vanderbilt since Kumar Rocker did it in 2019, and trust me, we're gonna talk about him later, and it also propelled Vanderbilt to be the number one seed in college baseball. And as if that wasn't enough, his very next start against Missouri, Jack Leiter made it through seven innings again without allowing a hit. He he probably could have made it the full nine again, but his coach rightly pulled him to preserve his arm. Better not to burn out the prodigy in Leiter before he even hits the big leagues. With a current streak of 16 no-hit innings intact, it's become clear that Jack Leiter is a force to be dealt with in the college baseball realm, and soon enough, that's going to be in the major league baseball realm as well. But I wanted this video to be more than a regurgitation of Leiter's insane stats, and rather a dissection on what makes him great and what makes him different from other dominant college baseball pitchers. And this all starts with Leiter's rock-solid poise and mentality on the mound. It's become a point of fascination on baseball social media to analyze instances in games where Jack Leiter simply cannot be rattled. This, like many other things about Jack Leiter, has a lot to do with his father. Here's Al Leiter talking about his mentality. The job of a pitcher is to be mentally and physically prepared to execute a quality pitch consecutively until the game is over or the manager takes the ball. Obviously, a lot more must go into Leiter's mentality during games, but it just goes to show how mature of a pitcher he already is at the ripe young age of 21. It's also reflective of how wise his decision to go to college was, as he's raised his value about $6 million in draft stock. Vanderbilt has always been known for producing top-notch draft talent in pitchers. They're responsible for producing the likes of David Price, Sonny Gray, Mike Miner, Kyle Wright, and Walker Buehler. For those not familiar with MLB draft history, that's three top five picks and two additional top 20 picks in the last 13 years. 
And as if it hasn't been made obvious enough by now, Jack Leiter's pitch repertoire is something else. The following is a deep dive on Jack Leiter's pitch arsenal, aided by an article by SB Nation, which I'll be linking in the description below. Like many young pitchers, Leiter's bread and butter is his four-seam fastball. While being just above average in 2020, it has taken a huge leap in 2021. In 2020, it was sitting about 92 to 96 miles per hour, but it's peaked at 99 miles per hour in the new season. Per his Pitching Ninja interview, he keeps about a finger or pencil width between his fingertips when throwing this pitch, and many have noted that it has serious rising effect. Leiter's four-seamer averaged 18.1 inches of vertical break in 2020 with 8.1 inches of run. Part of what makes this pitch so effective is actually Leiter's height. He's considered quote unquote short for athletes at six foot, and because he throws from a much lower slot, the pitch gets a lot more run to it. The biggest change from 2020 to 2021 is Leiter's command in this pitch. He's able to paint corners beautifully with his four seamer, making it by far his greatest weapon. Coming in next is his second most relied upon pitch, his curveball. As I mentioned before, this is the only other pitch he's been throwing before his high school days. It has knee-buckling break to it, and it usually sits about 74 to 77 miles per hour. Leiter has said that his curveball fingering has been modeled after Adam Wainwright, and said the most important thing was to get on top of the pitch and focus on how much you can spin the ball rather than how much you can make it drop. Scouts seem to enjoy the speed differential between this curveball and his fastball, and with its 9 inches of horizontal sweep and negative 6 16 inches of vertical break, many have deemed it similar to that of Tampa Bay Rays reliever Nick Anderson, despite it being thrown much softer. His third most relied upon pitch, or tertiary pitch, is his slider, usually sitting about 80 to 83 miles per hour. This pitch specifically is modeled after his dad, Al Leiter, and has the inverse fingering on the seams compared to his curveball. In the new season, it has recently improved horizontal break. His slider registered 2200 revolutions per minute in 2020, which is in the range of MLB pitchers. This spin rate is nearly identical to the sliders of Diego Castillo and Jordan Romano in 2020. It has far more sweeping movement than diving movement compared to the slider of his teammate Kumar Rocker. And perhaps the most exciting part of all is that scouts fully believe that, at the major league level, this will become Leiter's new wipeout pitch. In terms of spin and velocity, it has demonstrated incredibly good promise. Currently in development for Jack Leiter are his cutter and his changeup, which would complete a five-pitch arsenal. His cutter has similar velocity and fingering to his slider, also being modeled off his dad, but the more notable of the two has to be the latter. He's yet to throw it a lot in high-leverage situations, especially in the new season, but its vertical fade is showed a lot of promise. The more I see Jack Leiter pitch and the more I learn about him, the more I believe he's gonna follow a similar career path to his Vanderbilt predecessors. Sonny Gray is even smaller than Jack Leiter and sat at a very similar four-seamer velocity during his time at Vanderbilt in the early 2010s. Walker Buehler is pretty much the same exact story and he's looking to be the ace of the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2021. Whether or not Jack Leiter goes number one in the draft remains to be seen, but it's pretty much only going to come down to him and his teammate Kumar Rocker, and I guess we'll just have to talk a little bit more about Kumar in a different video. The only thing we know for certain is that the Pittsburgh Pirates and Texas Rangers are going to get premium pitching talent in their draft picks this year. Here's hoping they don't mess everything up like they usually do. I'm the Jolly Olive and I'll see you guys next time.